So in a previous video, we took a look at this M18 HD12 battery pack that had an issue with the cells. It had the very common issue of blinking the first LED on the fuel gauge. I ended up deciding to use the case and the BMS board to make a different battery out of it and just used a BMS board like so. I did lose some of the footage of putting this board together, but it's very, very similar to the previous video I posted on taking the 8 amp hour case that was broken and just salvaging that battery case by putting the small lipos in it. So I'll show a brief part of that video here where I was just simply tacking on the balance leads. And you can see I've already put on, in this case, it's the XT60 connector for power instead of the two XT90s. But if you even notice here in the top right of the video, I've already got the balance lead sitting here ready to build the, the pack that I'm calling the Beast for the 10 amp hour LiPo packs. And I've done it right after this video. I am showing here removing two of the wires from this connector because I don't need them for it to function. I just used it to show clarity on video to keep them in order as I was tacking them onto the BMS board. So this is what the 10 amp hour BMS is going to look like with the parallel leads coming off the battery. I still got good footage of this part. As I go to put this battery together, you can see here where the top of the case I modified and cut out at the top for the power leads to come out. Also on the side for my balance leads, I just want them to come out just enough to be able to connect the JST connectors. I'm gonna take some of this electronics grade silicone and seal it in to keep it in place and also hopefully protect the leads from stress. I'm gonna cover over all these little plates where the nickel strip was sticking out and hopefully add a little bit more mechanical protection from stress on the wires. I'm going to try to find a piece of rubber to put over this as well since we have our heat sink for our MOSFETs here. So this is how I modified the case. I just simply took my Dremel tool and cut open the very front of the case and, and use the Dremel to smooth out the edges and on the bottom any standoffs that were sticking up I made those smooth as well as you can see there and two of these do fit very very well I mean they're going to stick out some but it's not about convenience I just want to do this for testing really so before that silicone dries I'm going to go ahead and stick the little silicone mat on there and that's going to protect everything on the board from touching I'm also going to get some some of the corrugated tubing and put over these wires for protection while testing. But I'm also going to get some foam to keep everything from shifting or moving too much and we'll put it back together. So back now with this thing together, let's put it on the scales and see how much it weighs. It's fully together with the connectors. Everything is ready to test. Except we do have to put it on the charger. We're getting no fuel gauge light because we just connected everything up. So here we go on the charger and it's trying to charge. And you see the fuel gauge did light up. So there we go. It did wake up the BMS and it's ready to use. I did use these big connectors because I want to get as much current out of these for testing as possible. And it's going to be pretty heavy. Um, three pounds around 10 ounces. So it is a beast for sure. It's not pretty, but I do want to know how well it'll compare to some of the other larger packs. This is how easy this is to disassemble and change out a battery pack. I got one JST connector on this one and two of the XT90s. Of course, these batteries, I make sure they're extremely close in voltage before connecting them up in parallel because obviously a lot of current can flow. I got these where they can slide out like so with just a little bit of friction holding them in. So there's two of the 5,000 milliamp hour 50C packs. As you can see here, I just got the foam in to, to keep everything from shifting around. And these slide in together very well here. You can turn them either way. I usually have them turned towards the wires coming off the bottom, but you can do it either way as you see here and just push it in with your finger. I'm choosing to use just one balance lead 
and the reason being you can connect them together if you want to and have the battery monitor those together in parallel as well but i do like using a little hobby uh, battery tester and i can take that and hook it to the other lead so i really like being able to have a visual check on all my cells as well as the battery monitoring one of the pack cells itself so therefore the bms is monitoring one battery in the cells individually and we can also visually and audibly hear if we have an issue with the other one so kind of a double check here so yeah it is a beast and of course it sticks out but it's really just for testing it's not for convenience it's really ready to go but we do have to put it on the charger again to wake it up as you can see here and there we go we'll wake it up and i'll show you again here the fuel gauge works just like so so we'll let this charge up i'm going to set it aside and i have contacted torque test channel and i'm proud to say that they have contacted me back at the time of this video and they do want to look at the beast and they might want to do some testing with it so i'm going to send it into them and as you can see here from this older video of theirs, they do such a good job when they test these batteries and compare them. I really wanted to see how it done with some of their tools and on the dyno and just see how well it stacked up with some of these others with the 21700s and, and many packs they brought us joy testing before. So if Torque Test Channel does test that battery and they do a video on it, I will have it linked in up here eventually in the top right hand corner as well as i'll edit the video description and have it down below so thanks to torque test channel for giving this a try i really appreciate them testing it for us if you found this video interesting please like share and subscribe thanks for watching and god bless